so we are going to discuss uh, fundamental of economics and very first unit from our curriculum is microeconomics so let's begin with microeconomics we need to understand what is scope of business economics in business world so let's go to the next slide yes so today's objectives of our discussion there will be two objectives to understand the scope of economics and business world and second would be we are going to dissect that scope into various functions right and its learning outcome is also defined that you will be able to understand what is the involvement of economics in business world So we are going to take a simple example and then we are going to understand what is the scope of economics in business world. Let's consider a company, it's an automotive company, right? And it, we call it as an XYZ company. It's a limited company, it's a big corporation and its president would call a meeting on very first day that would be the first april of the financial year new financial year begins on first april in india so let's assume that meeting is called on first april i hope you can see the things clearly i need to zoom it up a little bit Right. I hope now uh, it's little clear to you. So, president has called the meeting of all the vice presidents. That includes vice president of production, vice president of marketing, vice president of materials, vice president of stores, logistics, finance, all. And the very first question the president would pose that is what is the plan for next year what you're going to do and this question is answered of course by vice president of marketing right you can see my cursor he is a vice president of marketing and his answer to that question would be he will say sir we're going to sell 10,000 units of our automobile model whatever that model would be abc model in coming year so 10000 is a quantity demanded and we are going to sell it and i need cooperation from production from finance from logistics from stores from materials and jointly we can deliver this and before he make his statement his in his background he has studied demand forecasting, which is again a part of economics. He has studied month-wise breakup of that demand. Right? For example, in certain months, demand would pick up if the month is, you know, it's a Diwali, it's a Christmas, or if there is a Eid festival, people would buy more cars. So during those months, demand would pick up, and in other months, demand will just remain stable. So he has done that homework month-wise demand breakup demand forecasting and other things we're just trying to keep this example as simple as possible so these uh, these things demand forecasting and breakup they fall under the economics now after his statement the vice president of production it's his turn to make a remark now Vice President of Production, he would say, Sir, we cannot manufacture 10,000 units of automobile in a single year. We do not have enough plant capacity to do that, and it's not a right time to expand the plant either. So, what we can do? 
we can outsource something that give me some time i need more laborers i need more engineers i need some more machines as well so i will give you a list and let the hr vice president give me the more laborers more workers more managers and i'll try to match the demand likewise materials department would probably come again after some study and they will say whatever amount of material that is required for monthly production the monthly production schedule which is given to us i need more cash to purchase that raw material and that cash needs to be supplied by finance department i can place order you know uh, sometimes it is called as a purchase department in olden days now it is called as a materials management department vice president of stores and logistic they will also say sir we do not have enough capacity to store finished cars in our you know area that it's, it's just not enough we need to dispatch the car as early as possible so faster they manufacture they are tested the okay we will try to deliver it as fast as possible we cannot store them storage capacity is very limited every month and the logistic person the vice president would say sir i need obviously more transport trucks right specially designed to deliver this vehicle or else we have to hire more transport companies what earlier we used to do only single transport company now we need more than one and we need to hire our own trucks as well and we need more cash for that probably they will go back and meeting is called again and they will come back with the budget how much finance they would need throughout the year and that whole thing comes to finance vice president now he has to manage the cash and he will say sir whatever amount of crores of rupees is required to run the company right now we got limited funds these funds are reserved for monthly salary and wages right it's our working capital but we need more working capital right now i need to raise the funds from outside for that purpose just give me 15 days time we will mortgage some of the plants machineries and plant land to the bank and i'll raise the loan it can happen in next 15 days so everybody has done their homework you know uh, production marketing department and finance department they have to work closely and it's a role of more role of finance department to fix to identify the cost of the product and the profit margin and keep it confidential materials department stores department logistics they need to be you know aligned with marketing department to deliver the product on time we need a good software to get the cooperation from all to manage it well smoothly right i have not mentioned uh, quality assurance department here just i just wanted to keep it simple they have a role to play again maintenance department cyber security department they will have something to say here right to keep the machineries running the maintenance department they have a load likewise in this example students as you can see except 100% engineering decisions all other decisions which are left they fall under the criteria of economics so business economics i'll go to the next slide covers you know all non engineering part of the business if we just r- remove economics what left is pure engineering and just we cannot just run the business on pure engineering we got to have economics coupled with technology that is engineering then we can run the business all right i hope 
this example is clear to you you got something out of it right the scope is widespread it is ever growing again we can go into details of finance management scope is again uh, rising there right demand forecasting new methods new softwares they are also coming and they are being utilized to forecast the accurate demand costing plant capacity production operations everywhere part of economics is there i hope you got my point thank you very much and we'll stop here we'll, i'll see you in the next video thank you